Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm running dolos today, but you know what? I got a nice little haul video, some Silver Age, some slabs, and uh, a toy. I do have a toy on this one. Run that intro. Oh, what's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's put a little music in the background there just so you know, get rid of the silence. You know? Let's see. There we go. Yeah, guys. So, again, thank you again for clicking on this video. It's going to be a short video, quick haul video. A few of the books that have gotten in over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, before I put them away, I wanted to show some stuff I posted on Instagram already. So some of you may, you know, follow me on Instagram. You guys can see maybe some of the posts. You can see some of the books on there. But um, yeah, I just want to uh, remind everybody to, you know, give me a follow right here. That's my IG handle, Biggie's underscore comics. That, you know, that's where I post, like, if we're going to do, a, a you know, an auction or we just, you know, partake in the hashtags of, of different books, like, multiple monday top every tuesday and um kind of been slacking on that a little bit but i'm gonna keep, i'm gonna start doing that more often again like i used to and also stay tuned to the end because there's a couple of channel updates that i want to let you guys know about the channel what we're doing here at all the ny warriors comic and collect rules channels uh so let's get right into it we're into the home real quick guys so this uh first set of books i got these from man you 212 off of his what not auction you know he does it every tuesday i believe and every thursday uh so you know i go in there check out see what he got and try to uh pick up some stuff you know when i can you know um so i got these two right here uh this is uh batman early batman silver age uh issue 145 beautiful old joker cover there uh it's a little beat up and all well a little it's a lot beat up but it's still you know early early joker silver age so you know can't let these go these are, are not coming up too often anymore, so I try to get as many as I can, you know. Uh, the next book, uh, we're going to leave the toy for the end, you know. Uh, the next book is a book that um, I've had already a few times. Always with like cover detached or pages missing, but this one is complete. Uh, but I'd say probably like a 4 row condition, 3 5 4 which is fine. This is Batman 169. This is the second Silver Age Occurrence of the Penguin. Uh, beautiful cover, way nicer than his first Silver Age appearance, which is uh, Batman what, 155, if I'm not mistaken. Which you know I have also, but um, this one's this one's cool. This one presents really nice. You know, maybe maybe this one will get graded one day, but it depends on if, if I ever find one a little higher, you know. But that, that's a nice book. Shout out to Iraq. So this next book, these next two books. Shout out to my nephew, Big Freddy Pops the Henny. You guys can see him when we do the auctions. Um, he's always hunting books that I'm looking for or stuff that he knows that I have that I'm looking for upgrade. Um, this book right here just said it was a good deal and he passed it on to me. Um, and uh, I have this graded already in a 6.5. Uh, this one is not, I think, a 6.5. This one's probably a 5.0, 5.5. Lucky. I'll get lucky if, you know, the grader gives me a 6.0 if, you know, this gets graded. But um, it's, you know, famous uh, new Atlas cover. Uh, Batman 251, a really nice, solid copy. There you go. So you can't go wrong with that. Iconic cover. Uh, book has never gone down in price. It's just going up steadily. It goes up slowly, but steadily up. You don't see any, any downs on, on this book ever. You know, so. Dope. Or best book. Uh, this next book here is a book I've been wanting for a minute now, and I just haven't ran into it. Uh, but, you know, my nephew's always hunting, and, you know, he sent me this deal. You know, he found it, and checked if I wanted it, and uh, we made a deal. The seller gave me a good price, shipped it. Uh, I, you know, I don't know the name of the seller because it was, a, it, was a, it was on Facebook, so I don't really know. I don't, I don't delve too much in Facebook. But, um, yeah, this is uh, Strange Adventures number 205. 
first appearance of Boston Brand, the Dead Man. Uh, very undervalued key. Uh, very dope character. Read uh, a lot of stories of this character. I think Neil Adams co-created him, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is this is dope, man. This is dope right here. Yeah. So this one's probably like a six five seven zero, possibly. You know, with a nice press. It does have a lot of personal defects on the front cover, so you know, eventually it'll get graded. You know, you know what. I mean. Next two, next three books are slabs, right? And uh, the first ones that you know, I mean, we we always give DLC a lot of shit for his book when he puts up books for sale or whatever. But you know that we love you, DLC. You know we can't go, we can't do a video or auction or any type of live stream without mentioning this. So you know, you know we love you, man. That's why we show our love. You know how we do in our worries. We make fun of everybody, even ourselves. It doesn't matter, you know. But uh, yeah, DLC is a good guy, man. And uh, sometimes he puts up books that are pretty decent books if you look him up he, he really starts them under undervalued you know like like he really passes on that whole you know slogan come for the deal stay for the last he, he gives you deals always and um uh i'll show you this one here this is jw number 25 from 1967 uh cream to all five pages 5.0 that's nice that's nice mid grade right there for the other book yeah, so you know I've, I've been slowly picking up the Silver Age Daredevil run. You know, hopefully one day I get to complete it. I did the the, the Daredevil one that I had. I did sell it. I wasn't happy with that copy, and um, I ended up selling it to somebody in the community. Um, you know, they did uh, time payments and they got the book already. But uh, eventually I'll get another one. Uh, shout out to if you're watching Danny Robert, he sent me a nice copy that the big to do was selling. But at the moment I just I can't make the purchase like that right now at the moment. Uh, but eventually, I will. Uh, this next book, um, it, you know, I had a little bidding war on this book because, you know, the significance of this book, you know, especially recipes, uh, John Romita. So this is, uh, JW issue number 17 in a 6.5. Uh, this one's so off, so screams so off white also. Uh, this is the second John Romita on Spider Man with this book. You know, the first one is issue number 16, and that's the one with, you know, Daredevil and Spider-Man on the cover. And that one had an 8.5, so shout out to Amazing Murphy later for the trade that we did for that one. But this is the next issue. And, uh, yeah, so Spider-Man is in here. John Romita drew Spider-Man here also. So uh, this book is well, from 1966, 6.5. Great, great. And he's, you know, BLC started this book way, way on the GPA, like half price of GPA. Uh, surprisingly, more people didn't pick for this. Because, uh, I got it pretty. I got it at a pretty affordable price. It was only Tony White Jr. was bidding. He was the only one bidding me up. But it's all right, we were going back and forth. Yeah, but you know, shout out to BLC. You know, he uh, he also um, he threw in the you know he throws his little Hot Wheels stuff in there. But he you know he I bought two slabs. He threw one, and they like you know they're Batman, Batman Hot Wheels. So it's always fun. You know those fun things that he does. So, it, all right, and this this last book, oh, so it came up my screen. Oh, yeah, okay. last book I got is a book that you know even cover price they put a diamond on it. Uh, the diamond means that it's rare. You know the copies are, are hard to find, but for some reason, like um, when I started hunting this book, I, I've already gotten like like three copies to like like uh, this is the third copy right now. I'm going to show you that came to me in the, in the last four months. Uh, but I kind of let this one go because uh, it's an upgrade to me. So let me just show you what it is. This is uh, Caliber Presents Number One from 1989, first appearance of the Crow, in 9.4 white pages. Awesome book, first appearance of the Crow. Uh, you know, I can This book is the, the number one. The number one. You know, this is the the the, the, the cover of the number one issue. Um, goes for more money than this one. You know, because of course that's the cover number one. The more desirable. But in this grade, it's still a pretty pricey book. Uh, but a 9.8 in the, the number one is upwards to $10,000. Crazy. I didn't realize it was that expensive. But uh, yeah, so I, I had to pick this one up um, because I previously had. I have one at CGC right now, but lower grade. You know, lower grade, like mid grade. And then I had this one that I unboxed in my last CGC unboxing, which came back at 8.5. So ended up with two and i got a third one but 
This one right here, this one I have it for sale. I posted it on eBay. I tried to, uh, you know, because I, I paid for the other one. I need to pay that off. So I tried to put this one up on the auction for a deal, uh, but nobody claimed it. So I ended up, you know, I went on eBay. <laughs> the eBay is what we would call it. And it already has about four or five watches, so it'll sell. Uh, but if anybody's watching this video and you're interested in it, as long as I don't get a fit, I'm always willing to take it off from eBay. And uh, I'll give you a better deal than, than eBay would. You know, that if you was to go on eBay and search it. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's it for the books. The last thing I got to show you guys real quick is shout out to my man, uh, Golden State Comics, formerly known as... Uh, let me show you right here. Formerly known as King of the Golden State. You guys know that his IG was hacked. So this is his new one. Golden State. There you go. His pronouns are they and them. <laughs> no, but shout out to James. He's a good guy. No, James, you're a good guy. No matter what people say about you, you're a good guy. Um, so he knows that uh, me and my son, my son and I actually, would be, uh, we're huge Godzilla fans. And uh, Super 7, uh, they picked up the IP for... You know they, the license for Godzilla, and they started coming out with their ultimate ways Godzilla. But for San Diego Comic Con this year, they had an exclusive, and the exclusive was based on Art Adams' artwork of the IDW run of Godzilla. Um, so, <laughs> yo, I had to get it. So I, I, you know, you only could buy it there, not online. They only made you know for the show, and um, yeah, I just you know, I just said, James, if you happen to. They get a chance to stop by the Super 7 booth and they had this, you know, can you pick one up for me? You know, I'll pay for shipping, everything, whatever. Uh, but if you can't, there's no worries, because I know how it is when you go to a con and people ask you to look for stuff for them. It's kind of difficult to do that. You try to get your own stuff and then the crowds and all that. But my man came through, James came through and he hooked it up and this is it right here. So this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Godzilla King of the Monsters based on R. Adams, IDW run. The artwork there is done by R. Adams. And he was actually at San Diego Comic-Con and people were assigning the copies of this. So, and, you know, Super 7 does amazing packaging. This one, no exception. Let me uh, lift up the hood. Take off the, the sleeve and it comes with it. All right. Show you the full display right there. It's freaking awesome. Comes with multiple heads. The tail is uh, massive. And you see that little human there? A little human? That's quote unquote, that's supposed to be our Adams. <laughs> you know, so that's pretty dope right there. But the packaging is amazing. Uh, artwork all over. Look at the back. It's pretty dope. Yeah, man. So this is a beautiful piece. Uh, it's definitely going to get displayed. Uh, my son wants to open it. But I'm like, I can't open this. This is an exclusive. But I do have the other, you know, the waves from Super 7 free ordered. So um, I told my son, you can open those, you know, because he, you know, he wants to open them. He wants to pose them around and all that, which is awesome. Cause that's what these stuff are made for, you know. So I made sure to get those waves so that he could, um, he could do his thing with them, you know. But um, yeah, so that's it. That's the whole, that's the pickups. Let me know what you guys think. Also, I told you guys at the end, there's about some channel updates we're gonna talk about real quick. So I don't wanna take too long because we're already at 13 minutes. So as far as the auctions, guys, the auctions, I think we're gonna eliminate them. Uh, they, not eliminate completely, but maybe just do once a month because uh, YouTube is so flooded with auctions now, you know, and I, I watch a few of them and they're all in the same boat. Everyone, you know, once in a while you get, like people that'll buy stuff or whatever, but you know, we don't have the audience that purchases. Most of the audience that purchase, they're on, they buy another media, they buy on eBay, they buy on whatnot. They don't come to YouTube to buy uh, like they used to, you know, at least as far as my audience goes. So we're just gonna eliminate them every week. This is just not worth it. Um, but I am gonna go back to doing my coffee and comics. I think those are fun. Uh, cause there's always stuff to talk about every week. Um, I still actively collect, you know, I collect books. I do CGC submissions, TBCS submissions. I do toys. Um, as you can see the background, I do a lot of toys actually. Um, so, you know, I got pre-orders out there and, you know, if they come in, we'll, we'll go live. 
and I'll do videos like this, and we'll keep it like this. We'll do this. Uh, this is what we've been. Oh, well, this is what we always did before we did any auctions, and I leave the auctions to the people that run the auctions. This is every day of the week. It's like there's an auction, and it's kind of. I feel like it's um, it's over flooded already. So I'm gonna just bow out, <laughs> you know, gracefully. I think the time was passed already. I think we passed that time already. You know that that um, um the auction used to be real hot, but now it's just it's too many. And then that's, then that's not a knock to nobody that's doing them, but just I don't think it's, it's, it's worth it. I will try once a month to see how it goes. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section of what I just told you guys about it. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get more consistent with the comments and coffee again because people really enjoyed that. We would always get a good turnout uh, Saturday morning or Sunday morning when we did that. And um, I want to get back into it, especially now with, all, with some of the shows coming in, like Ahsoka's coming, you know, on the third, on the 23rd. Um, so I would like to do episode breakdowns on that. It's going to be a popular show. And, um, yeah, and we'll just do it that. And if I need to sell stuff, I just, you know, I, I put it on eBay. That's what I do. But, you know, anything that doesn't sell the auction here, I, 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 just, I put it on eBay, eBay, eBay flies, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. You know what I mean? I'm not a dealer, so I don't need to make money every week on books. I just only do it when I'm have submissions out or upgrading books, things like that, you know? Uh, but yeah, so that's it guys. Yo, thank you again for the this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, you know, hit that share button, share us out. So, you know, people know what we do over here, you know? And um, that's it guys. Until next time. Peace.